Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic 3D model of extruder conical screw in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part and millimeter and go to create. Now from here, select the 2D sketch and click on XY plane. Now select the line command. From this center point, first we will make a rough sketch. Okay. So here, this line will be like this. Vertical line. This line here. And this will be a close profile till here. Okay. Now escape. Now we will go to, to dimension. Here the total dimension will be of 550 mm. Okay. And this dimension will be 70 mm. And this dimension will be of 400 mm. Okay. Now we have given all the horizontal dimensions. Okay, this is left. This will be 65 mm. Now we will give the vertical dimensions. So, escape, select this line and make it a center line. Okay. Now go to dimension. This point from this center line, it will take the diameter of 12 mm. Okay. Similarly, from this point, the diameter here will be of 37 mm. Here, the diameter will be of 78. And this diameter will be of 55. And this dia of 50. Okay. Now, this is fully defined. Here you can see fully constrained sketch. Now finish sketch <clears throat> and select the revolve command. Now it will provide the revolve profile and OK. OK. Now select this bottom edge, go to chamfer and here chamfer of 5 mm. You can see a chamfer and OK. Now we will assign the material. Go to material. From here, we will select the steel polished or you can select OK. Yes, steel polished we will select. OK. Now we will make this key profile. For key, go to origin and select the exit plane and go to plane and select this top end. Okay. Now it will make a plane tangent to this face. Select this plane, go to create sketch, rotate the view. Now go to slot and select center to center slot here make this slot go to dimensions this width will be of 15 mm and the center to center will be of 50 and the center distance from this edge will be at 40 mm ok Escape. This will be 40 and this is 50. Now go to horizontal constraint. Select this center point, the green point, and select this center point. They will be horizontally aligned to each other. Now escape. Finish sketch and go to extrude command and here select cut and take a depth of 6 mm and ok ok 
Now you can see the key profile. Here we will insert the key. Now we will make the screw, the screw profile or the coil profile. For this, select this face, go to create sketch and select this outer circle and go to project geometry. Okay. Now finish sketch. Now from here, select start 3D sketch and we will select the helical coil. Here the definition will be pitch and revolution and we will start from this green point and we will select this plane and we will follow this red line and place this coil. Okay. Now we'll give the diameter. The diameter here will be of 78 mm. The pitch will be 53. Revolution 6. And here the taper will be of 3.5 degree. And it will be minus. As you can see here the minus taper due to minus taper the dia will get reduced. Now just click here and OK. OK. Now finish sketch. Select this work plane 1. Right click and turn off the visibility. We don't require this. Now this is the end point of the coil. So go to plane. Select this point and select this coil. OK, it will construct a new plane over here. Now select this plane and go to create sketch. And go to line command. Here, make the profile. This, this and this. OK. Now match the center points ok now go to dimension give this dimension as 10 mm and this dimension as 13 mm similarly this height of 13 mm and a scale select this line give the vertical constraint ok sorry Select this line and give horizontal constraint. Okay, it will make a taper profile. Escape. Select this dimension, delete. Again, give the dimension here as 13 mm. Okay. Now select this center line and make it a construction geometry. Okay. Now finish sketch. Now this will be the profile and this will be the path to sweep. So go to sweep command. This path or profile is selected. Now go to path and select this path. Okay. Rotate it and okay. Okay. So this is the profile. Now you can hide this sketch. This is sketch 3. Turn off the visibility. And for plane, select here, right click and turn off the visibility. Now this is the basic model of extruder coil screw in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.